You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Vampires have been the subjects of books and plays for centuries. Today these scary fictional characters appear in countless movies and hit TV series. But one woman from Pennsylvania has taken her vampire obsession further. 45 year old mum of three Julia Caples has been drinking live human blood for over 30 years. I know for a fact <laughs> um, that there, there are a lot more people out there who drink human blood than you, you could be aware of, your neighbor could be a blood drinker. I don't agree with it. Julia's daughter, Ariel, struggles with the mum's gruesome practices. You are literally, by definition, a leech and a parasite. Her fascination with blood began as a young girl during her first kiss. I kissed him really hard and I bit him on the lip. <laughs> it was my natural instinct to bite him because for some reason I associated uh, that, that sensuality with blood. Needless to say, he never kissed me again. But Julia was hooked and wanted more. As time went by and meeting fellow vampire fanatics became easier, Julia eventually married her ex-husband Donald in a vampire-themed wedding. We had a special ceremony and it happened to be in a graveyard. When we made our vows, we consecrated our love for each other by sharing blood. But when their 11-year-old son Alexi arrived, the couple decided one of them had to step away from their bloody lifestyle to ensure he had a balanced upbringing. I did, so she didn't have to. But despite their careful parenting, Alexi is starting to notice his mum's strange hobby. It's kind of weird. I'm starting to think she's a vampire. Hi! Hi. Julia's eldest daughter, Ariel, also struggles with her mum's ghoulish practices. I don't agree with it, and you know I don't. If you want to be a vampire, you are literally, by definition, a leech and a parasite. Absolutely, that is correct. And why would you be proud because, of being that? Because the people that I take from want me to do that to them. Doesn't matter if they want it. I find it rather disgusting to begin with. I am absolutely afraid of losing my mom to her lifestyle. Regardless of the criticism she faces from loved ones and strangers, Julia says she's careful. They have to get blood tests, you know, to make sure they're not carrying you know, uh, blood-borne diseases or, or, you know, AIDS or HIV or, or any of that. Doctors like hematologist Steve Grunstein advise against drinking the blood of others. There has been a resurgence of cult drinking blood vampirism. I would never encourage somebody to drink human blood. In fact, I would discourage absolutely. But the health risks aren't enough to deter Julia who drinks blood as regularly as she can. So, um, are you ready to go? Absolutely. Because I am really thirsty. Okay, I'm gonna take your shirt off. Good. So what drives Julia to continue her bizarre practice? Is there a secret property to blood that makes vampires age more slowly like in the movies? My aging process is, seems to be outwardly much slower than people who don't drink blood. When I drink when I feed off a, a, a person and drink their blood, I feel uh, stronger, I feel, I feel um, healthier, um, I feel empowered, I feel more beautiful than any other time. I'm also extremely healthy, I have no health problems. I have an abundance of energy all the time. Thank you so, so much, thank you. I appreciate it, thank you.